consuming any messages in Telegram by using Nest.js, a Node.js framework. After you have created a new Nest.js project, you have to install the three npm packages path, prompt and empty proto. We create a new service which we call Telegram API service. We begin with importing all the packages we need. You can find a link to the message interface in the description of the video. In the constant config, I've exported the phone number and the access keys for the Telegram client. We extract the API ID and hash from the constants config. Then we will create a new property of empty proto with which we will call the Telegram API later. The Telegram messages subject is used to publish all the messages we receive from Telegram. We will subscribe to this later. In the constructor, we initialize the empty proto property. We use the Telegram keys for this. We save the out result in a local JSON file. With the sign in method, we finally sign in to our Telegram account. For this, we need the phone code, the mobile number, and a hash, which we receive from a previous request. For the sign in method, we need the mobile code. Therefore, we create a new method, sendCode, to inform Telegram that they should send us a new code to our smartphone, which we will enter in the application afterwards. In the constructor, we call a method subscribe to updates, which we have to implement now. There, we listen to the updates of the web sockets. Whenever an update takes place, we receive an update info. An update info has some messages over which we iterate. We push the messages to the subject we created earlier. The auth method uses the getHistory method, which you can just reuse. It tries if it can fetch the history of a channel. If this step fails, you know that your Telegram login has expired, so you have to insert the phone code to the prompt once more. Let's have a quick look to the getHistory method. Now we just have to call the service from our app service. In our app service, we inject the Telegram API service. There, we call the auth method with our phone number. After this, we subscribe to the message subject to receive the messages. Let's start the app with yarn start dev. If you have edited the constants config accordingly, then you should receive the phone code in your Telegram app. The prompt is already waiting for the code. Now you should see the first messages arriving. The undefined means that something happened in the client, like a user joined a group. To test the app, you can forward a message to the saved messages chat, which everyone has in his app. You will see the forwarded message in the console. This approach works for all users and all groups. There are no limits. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more stuff, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment.